Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, Golden State Warriors vs. Oklahoma City Thunder, Indiana Pacers vs. Atlanta Hawks and Detroit Pistons vs. Memphis Grizzlies which are happening on Thursday, May 6, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. So I am going to start off by talking about the Golden State Warriors vs. Oklahoma City Thunder match. Oklahoma City fell in their fourth straight loss on Tuesday in another nail-biter that they failed to close out in the end. After dropping a 123-120 loss to the Phoenix Suns, they were handed a 103-99 loss by the Sacramento Kings, both of which had to feel like a punch in the gut for the struggling Thunder. If anything, at least the team can find solace in the fact that they're showing some fight, even if it is coming late in the season. That ridiculous 152-95 loss to the Indiana Pacers must have lit a fire under players and coaches. This is still the NBA, and jobs are on the line. The Golden State Warriors have been in decent shape as they've won 10 of their past 15 games overall and they will be hoping to bounce back after getting stopped by the Pelicans in a 108-103 road loss on Tuesday. Darius Baisley led the team with 24 points, 11 rebounds and 3 assists. Gabriel Deck added 16 points on 5 of 7 shooting off the bench while the Guin Stort chipped in with 10 points, but no other player finished in double figures in scoring. Can you imagine how much better the Warriors would be right now with Klay Thompson, James Wiseman and Kelly Uber Jr. on the floor? They would be a championship contending team. It's pretty amazing to see the epic run Steph Curry is putting together with limited offensive help outside of Andrew Wiggins. Draymond Green is still a defensive savant, but he's on a milk carton more often than not these days offensively considering he's not even averaging double figures. Despite holding up well on the perimeter throughout the season, they are allowing an average 42.1% shooting from beyond the arc in their last three games. That's a bad sign when Steph Curry was probably doing his three-point rain dance all Wednesday night in anticipation for this game. It was a torrential downpour of three-pointers in the first meeting between these two teams with the Warriors dropping 24 perimeter buckets to blow the thunder out of the Chesapeake Energy Arena. Another shellacking is in the cards with a rematch taking place at the Chase Center against a Warriors team seething after a loss to the Pelicans. My betting advice for that game is to pick Golden State Warriors minus 14. Now I'm going to be talking about the Indiana Pacers vs. Atlanta Hawks match. Atlanta was at home Wednesday night as they faced a Phoenix team that was tied for the top spot in the Western Conference. The Hawks entered Wednesday leading the Southeast Division by one game over the Heat. In the Eastern Conference playoff picture, the team held the fifth seed but they were just 1.5 games ahead of seventh-seeded Boston for a guaranteed playoff spot. Atlanta is 5-8 in the second game of back-to-back -back situations this season as they average 110.1 points per game while allowing 111.6 points a night in those situations. The Hawks are 16-19 on the road this season with a minus 1.5 PPG scoring differential, 111.6 PPG for, 113.1 PPG against, entering this one. Atlanta is 21-17 against Eastern Conference teams with a plus 1.2 PPG scoring margin, 112.5 PPG for, 111.3 PPG against, on the year. Indiana went into Wednesday's game against Sacramento losers of three of their previous four games. The Pacers entered Tuesday second in the Central Division race, 10.5 games behind the Bucks for the top spot. In the Eastern Conference playoff picture, the team stood ninth, four games ahead 11th place Toronto to stay on the right side of the cut line and four games behind sixth place Miami for the final guaranteed playoff spot. Indiana is 9-5 in the second game of back-to-back -back situations this season. The Pacers average 117.4 points per game while allowing 116.4 points a night in those situations. 
Indiana is a dismal 11 to 19 at home with a minus 2.9 PPG scoring margin, 111. 0.8 PPG for, 114.7 PPG against, in those games this season. The Pacers are 16 to 20 against Eastern Conference teams with a minus 1 PPG scoring differential, 113.6 PPG for, 114.6 PPG against, in those games this year. Clint Capella led the team in scoring with 18 points with 10 rebounds and 2 blocks on and 11 shooting, Trey Young, Danilo Gallinari and Lou Williams each scored 16 points while Kevin Herter chipped in with 13 points. Domantas Sabanis led the team in scoring with 17 points, 13 rebounds and 8 assists on 7 of 9 shooting but he just didn't get much help as Karis LeVert scored just 14 points while TJ McConnell and Doug McDermott each scored 11 points. Reports have surfaced that it's unclear whether Nate Jerkren will coach the team beyond this season as relationships have been slow to develop. Atlanta is trying to stay in the top six in the East for a guaranteed playoff spot and avoiding the play-in tournament. The Hawks are relatively healthy and hope to get Hunter and Reddish in the coming days. With the way the Pacers have flatlined defensively, you have to fade them at this point. My betting advice for that game is to pick Atlanta Hawks minus five, now I'm going to be talking about the Detroit Pistons vs Memphis Grizzlies match. They're sweeping the Portland Trail Blazers in a doubleheader one minute and then getting beat by the Orlando Magic the next. It has been an ongoing theme for them throughout the year. Which Grizzlies team is going to show up on Thursday night against the Pistons? They recently survived an offensive shootout against the Minnesota Timberwolves in a game that didn't have much defense. It was all about getting buckets, and the Grizzlies ran into the right defensive matchup to make themselves look elite in doing so. The Memphis Grizzlies have been in decent shape as they've split their last eight games, and they will be looking to build some momentum after outlasting the Timberwolves in a 139-135 road win last night. John Morant came out with a vengeance and led the way with 37 points with 10 assists on 14 of 25 shooting, Desmond Bain added 22 points off the bench while Kyle Anderson chipped in with 20 points on 7 of 9 shooting. As a team, the Grizzlies shot 53% from the field and 14 of 29 from the three-point line as they took control of the game with 40 points in the second quarter to lead by as many as 13 points, before escaping with the narrow win after the Timberwolves stole the lead with 3-10 remaining. After Tuesday's heartbreaking loss to the Charlotte Hornets, the Pistons got the news that Jeremy Grant would finally be returning to the lineup on Saturday against the Philadelphia 76ers. That leaves the team on an island once again on Thursday night against the visiting Grizzlies. It's the same Grizzlies team that handed them a 109-95 loss back in February. With center Mason Plumlee also being out, it's going to be an uphill battle for the Pistons. They don't have the offensive firepower like the Timberwolves to keep pace if Morant goes off for a second straight night, but they do have the defense to make it tougher on his ability to do so. They are quietly the number 6 ranked scoring defense in the league when playing in their home building. That feisty defensive effort has kept them in some tough games. The Detroit Pistons have been in a real funk as they've lost 7 of their past 8 games and they will be hoping to arrest a 4-game slide after falling short against the Hornets in a 102-99 home loss on Tuesday. Amidou Diallo led the team with a career-high 35 points on 14 of 22 shooting. Sekou Dumbuy added 20 points on 9 of 15 shooting while Frank Jackson chipped in with 14 points off the bench. As a team, the Pistons shot 45% from the field and 9 of 32 from the three-point line as they hung with the Hornets right till the end despite getting off to a slow start to fall behind by 10 points early. Sadiq Bey had a night to forget as he finished with just 7 points on 2 of 12 shooting while Killian Hay scored just 4 points on 1 of 6 shooting. My betting advice for that game is to pick Memphis minus 10.5. Good luck!